Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. In the previous episode we did Rusty Bucket Bay and it was really hard for me anyways. And yeah, here is the Jiggy that we got for activating the Witch Switch in that level. And we're actually going to be doing a lot of stuff in the- oh gosh, we only have one more Jiggy to get in the overall. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. So we're keeping up with that, but there's still one last Cheeto page that I want to find. It's actually right over here. Okay, I don't want to fall off. So this is going to make the water level in the Rusty Bucket Bay area and this area level three. And oh gosh, I want to hurry up. Oh, do not want to hit that dude. That actually might mess my time up a whole heck of a lot, but we'll see. We'll see. Basically, go back to the Rusty Bucket Bay area. And how many times am I going to say Rusty Bucket Bay? Like, it's exactly how you're supposed to say it. But I say it weird, but you know. Anyway, so we got 13 seconds. We might be able to do it. Essentially, we're going to be swimming way, 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 way protein. No, not really. <laughs> up here. And all right, we did it. Nice. So this is going to give us the third... Is it the final? Don't actually remember right now, but here's the third one. Bear and bird getting good at finding Cheeto. So another spell they shall have. That traitor book has pushed its luck. So in the burning fire, I'll chuck. <laughs> Find Cheeto, which won't. Cool, you must enter on Sandcastle floor. Interest room. It is Golden Feather! So now we are going to be doing all three of those, now that we have all three of them. I just decided that's a lot better than to see me go back there and put them all in. If you don't remember, go to Treasure Cove, Cove, go to the Sand Castle, and all you got to do is peg in the three uh, letters. And is that all we got to do here? I think it is. So we're going to actually use this teleporting cauldron, and now we're actually going to go... <sighs> no, I actually don't need to use this one, do I? No, I shouldn't. What we need to do is we actually need to go and activate the next note door. It's the second to last note door in the game. Guys, this game's almost wrapped up. It's actually sad to see. I mean, just there's a point where it's just like, record, record, record. And I'm still recording, man. I think it's the fact that I have iced tea in my house. Usually iced tea helps me commentate for oh so many hours because of its relaxing, soothing texture. and just, It just goes down easy. <laughs> I used to not even like... I used to not like a lot of things. I don't like mustard and green tea, or actually just iced tea, and now that seems like all I eat. Not just straight mustard, but I mean a lot of mustard. What does that have to do with anything? I don't know. Let's go through the door. <laughs> oh my goodness. All these enemies and crap. I don't have any... I have hardly any golden feathers. Well, I guess we're going to do a little bit of uh, acrobatics then. Oh, gosh. We need to get through here. Don't worry. We'll have a chance to uh, fill up our honeycombs and this is it this is technically the last level in the game and there's Brentilda who I actually kind of want to visit because she's gonna heal me to full so I'm gonna do that real quick get out of here bro 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 there you go that was, that was good. <laughs> we definitely want full hearts coming into the next level but uh, I don't know all right Brentilda what do you got and gruesome Gruntilda's favorite pastime is bursting boils really now this poor guy called Greasy Grant was her first and only boyfriend it doesn't sound that Pleasant. When she was younger, Grunty used to have a mad vulture as a pet. Anything else for me? Oh, you poor dears, your energy is low. Let me heal you up. Nice. So she's gonna do that, and that's what we wanted her for. I'm pretty much writing down all those little things and all the things that Grunty says off screen because they're actually gonna be important. And here is one of the last cauldrons in the game. But did I? Oh crap! I didn't get those. Dump. Basically, near where uh, Treasure Trove Cove is, there's a teleporting one, and my belly is so big, it's rather neat. It's been years since I've seen my feet. Cool. And this bull's back from Mumbo's Mountain. Stop, please. Stop. Yeah, you can't actually kill him. You can only just momentarily stun him, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to be on our merry way. We're basically going to flip up here a little bit. Gosh, I, there is the last note door in the game. I could technically go through that now and beat the game, just completely skip the last level, but where's the fun in that, you know? Uh, over here, I think, is just a mumbo token? This might eventually lead to the last, uh, overworld jiggy, but I can't actually remember. Well, let's get that. So I always need five mumbo tokens to activate the final transformation, which I can definitely get since there's been a couple that I've missed throughout Grunty's Lair. Trying to get everything up, hopefully, today. And if I really need to go back, I'll get that one in, uh, mumbo's... Actually, not Armando's uh, Treasure Trove Cove that I couldn't get. And there is the Jiggy thing for Click Lock Woods. Originally, that would not be there, and so you'd go to that area, and there's nothing you can really do. And do I really have to do all this crap again? Ugh, I'm rather... I'm just gonna... Actually, yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> Stop being lazy, man. Stop being lazy. <laughs> crap. 
Okay, let's just get out of here. Just get, uh, uh, crap. Dang. <laughs> well, I don't know why I talked to Brintilda, because I still lost as much HP. Anyways. So now we basically need to work our way to the beginning of the game. Which is kind of a pain. So I'm just going to cut really quickly. And okay, after a couple of cauldrons or resetting the game later, we're going to be near Treasure Trove Cove's uh, level. World. Uh, place to get there and this is actually it's been here the whole time but we've never just explored it this is where the final jiggy puzzle place is it's in here and there's Brintilda which we'll be visiting towards the end of the game there is a mumble token right over there so we need four more to go nice nice now we're going to unlock click lock woods the longest hardest and debatably one of the best levels in the game yeah so now when we go over there it will be unlocked which is really cool. We still got 20 jiggies to go, man. <laughs> so, so far, uh, doing pretty good on the jiggies, but now I'm actually going to go into the sand castle and enter those three codes in, and I'm just gonna cut there to save a little bit of time, since we've already seen what's in there. And all right, here we are inside the Treasure Trove Cove castle, sand castle thing. Yeah, we got three codes to put in. I'm only gonna put one in and then do the rest because, well, be very tedious. The first one was blue, and yes, if you do have the Cheeto code, it will, well, light up like that. Blue, now we finally need to find the U. U. And then blue. I think we need two E's, don't we? Oh, I guess so. Is there a second E? Or did we just hit that one twice? Maybe we just hit that one twice. Yeah, I guess so. And then G two times, and then the S to get a upgraded egg thing. I was thinking of Banjo too. You don't actually get infinite um, eggs from this. My bad, my bad. I thought you did. And there we go. 200 eggs are now yours. Now 200 is maximum too. Nice. That lousy cheat for extra eggs won't help bear and chicken legs. Yeah, okay. So now I'm gonna enter in red feathers and golden feathers to... Actually, is it gold? Yeah, it's gold feathers, not golden. <laughs> to get those cheats, so be right back after I've done that. Stop hitting Banjo, that's rude. And okay, now that that's been done, let's get the crap out of here and get started on the Click Cluck Woods. Now that I have some just a better chance of surviving there, because the red feathers, the eggs, and the golden feathers are really handy. I can't believe I never unlocked this. Back here, uh, should be another Ecom Toke. Mumbo Token. Let's get that one. So now we just need three more Mumbo Tokens, and we'll have pretty much all we need. And there is the second brown pot. This will take us all the way to Click Clock Woods, which is really handy. I recommend you get this one just because you don't want to walk all the way to Click Clock Woods every single time you turn the game off, do you? Do you? No, I do not. So I'm not going to do that. And now everything has been taken care of, and we can get started on the longest level in the game. I'm going to be t basically separating this episode, or actually this world, into four segments just in case some people are looking up how to beat it. They have my episode as a reference. Now, this is actually a pretty coolly designed level. I know coolly isn't really a word at all, but it's awesome, dude. I stinking love it. Essentially, it's divided into four segments. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Just like our actual seasons. The world will change depending on what time of year it is. And, hey, it's raining. Yep, this definitely looks like spring to me. Okay, let's get these notes, though. Uh, you should definitely come out of summer with 20 notes, 2 Jinjos, and 2 Jiggies. You want to make sure you get those. Speaking of uh, thingies we can pick up, though, we're going to go all uh, invincible and get that. All right. So first thing we need to do is I guess we might as well get introduced to some of the characters that are around here. And there's two things we actually need to do that we're going to have to do on essentially every season. And hey, it's a beaver guy! What's up, man? How's it going? Somebody move this boulder. Naughty can't get in his house. Oh, Naughty, huh? Wonder if he's related to those uh, enemies in Donkey Kong 64. You know, the blue gophers. Of course he is. Because that is the reference there. Anyway, so the first thing that we need to do after speaking of Naughty, which technically you don't really need to talk to him, is come over to this plot of land. This plot of land, you may not be able to see it depending on how the video is turning up, but... We're gonna actually poop into this hole. Gosh, I, I, got, I gotta get better at pooping, man. I'm not that good. I, I can improve. Should be like four eggs or something. If I can aim and they're not... The eggs are flying all over the place, but I'm not changing. I don't understand. I don't understand, man. Okay, there we go. Wait, is that more? How many How many things do you need? Goodness. And after about 12 billion eggs, a beanstalk is gonna come out. Just kidding. It's more like four, I think. 
you need to do that on pretty much, actually no, something similar to that on essentially every season. So just keep that in mind, there's another thing like that, but that's gonna have to be a little bit later. And alright, we're at 11 notes so far, let's beat this dude. Oh crap. Oh my gosh, am I, am I, am I, am I, am I gonna, am I gonna, am I gonna die? Am I gonna, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose to this thing. Not really. Okay, don't know what that was, <laughs> what was up with that. Sir, my, like, hits were not registering, it's probably the angle, but... Yes, instead of those, like, green guys, we got these parrots, which have a different attacking pattern, and it's super stinking annoying, and I really dislike them. But, we gotta beat them, so what are you gonna do about it? Okay, there should be another one over here. Okay, good, good. Yeah, they're pretty obnoxious, but I mean, it could be worse, right? We could have way worse enemies. Let's pick up three more of these notes. I feel like there's notes on every, like, wing of the tree, really, or, like, it's three branches and pointing in four directions, so... If I could stop voice cracking, that'd be great. Let's beat this dude and get some more help. So, essentially, the rest of what we have to get in this level... Uh, we're gonna need Ecom Tokens, definitely, because we need to transform... Basically, the second you get here, uh, you're gonna have to have 25. I mean, you, there are some in the level itself. And is that one? No, it's an extra life. So, let's see, uh, I need two more. So two more Ecom Tokums, we never have to worry about it ever again, I never have to say that phrase ever again. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, let's get this one. And gosh, I already know I'm gonna fall off the tree like a billion times, man. I just know what's gonna happen. It's not gonna be funny at all. Okay, so we got all the notes, so that at least is semi-good, right? Right, right. Beat this dude's face in, though. And then talent shot up this part of the tree. It's very inclined, so you wanna get up it. And all right. There is our next uh, Ecom token. We want to grab. I know. Ex I know where two more are, so I'm doing good. But I don't know about how if you guys are gonna find them all. But there's pl there's plenty in this level, so don't sweat it. We're gonna beat all these guys, even if we could avoid them. I just want to make sure that they're dead. And okay, here's the final moment. The final Mumbo token. It's right over here near this beehive, which we're actually gonna have to get inside. And all right, so if you've been following my guide and you've gotten all of the mumbo tokens, heck, you probably have more. Who am I kidding? You can unlock the final transformation, which is debatably the coolest, but still isn't as cool as in Banjo Tooie, because in Banjo Tooie, they are awesome. I hate to keep bringing up Banjo Tooie. We're playing the first one, but that's just my bad habit when LPing games. I think there's. Might be one near here, but I'm not too sure. Now, the next thing is we have to jump basically to this plank of wood suspended by absolutely nothing. Don't know how that works, but hey. I... Gosh, we're really getting high up there now. To be careful, you don't want to fall down, man, because you're going to take some damage. And all right, there we go. This switch is going to unlock the summer door of the level. So that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, you're going to have to track down more of these buttons to unlock more of. Clock, clock wood. So keep that in mind. Let's come in here real quick and talk to a squirrel. Chomp, chew, nub it, likes acorns. I'll just eat a few more. <laughs> okay. There's also a Ecom token up here, which is pretty cool. So now we have way more uh, mumble tokens than we're even going to need. And by way more, I mean exactly one more. And oh gosh, if I'm going to fail, it's right here. Gosh dang it, I hate this part, dude. Ugh, so now we're really high up, so if we fall down, there's really no shortcut back up. And my cat is sneezing. I hope she's okay, but uh, it's probably just a hairball. <laughs> it's my cat's LP as much as it's mine. Mine, mine, mine. So now let's do this before we go. Basically a giant egg, and we're going to have to come up here a whole heck of a lot. And gosh, we're so high up. Oh, gosh. Me eerie. Mighty eagle. Need sleep now. <laughs> yeah, just goes down. Oh, he's adorable, man. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you do that before you exit spring, because it's pretty important that you do. And okay, moment of truth. Okay, good. Let's do this. And honestly, this part isn't impossible. If I mess up, it's my fault. <laughs> it's not the game. All right, let's do that. And okay. One last big jump. Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're good. And there we go. Just one more, and all right. So now there's. You don't gotta go in feathers. You're screwed. That's just basically how this is. Let's get this Jinjo. Oh, good, good, good. So that's one of the two Jinjos we need in this level, and one of the two Jiggies that we gotta get is in here. Don't know why I was about to peck pound that. 
So it definitely doesn't work like that. There's a bunch of Swispers, but I'm gonna ignore them and just pick up the first Jiggy of this gigantic world. All right. So, so far, we're doing pretty decent. But can I keep up the momentum? I don't know. I don't know. So basically, the second Jiggy is, uh, where on earth is it? I mean, gosh, I don't even like to look up. Man, I'm such a fraidy cat. I'm so afraid of heights, dude. But it's basically around here, and we can only access it when we're a bee. Oh, yeah, there's the other Mumbo token I was talking about. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to track down Mumbo, and if you do that, you'll be pretty good. So, yeah. The extra golden feathers are definitely a must if you're me. I mean, I just can't recommend them enough. And oh gosh, let's get away from this stupid bull. He's full of crap. <laughs> My jokes aren't funny. I fully accept that. But I'm going to just keep making them anyways because I'm an idiot. All right. So, so far, we, we're doing good. We're doing good. We haven't died yet in Click Clock Woods. But it's just one of, like, four seasons. Anyways, something I haven't seen in a long time, waiting boots, let's put them on and go see Mumbo for the final transformation. Oh gosh, Mumbo. You've been awesome to me, man. Okay. I don't, don't want to hit Mumbo. I just want to turn into the final form. <laughs> and yes, we're a bee. It's pretty cool. Mumbo, magic, much good. Bee is best yet. Uh, yeah, it is pretty cool. I mean, it looked pretty awesome in my opinion. The bee is the only reoccurring transformation in the entire series. He's actually in Banjo too. In this game, he's not the coolest. He could be a little bit better, but he gets the job done. First thing we got to do as a bee, though, is we're gonna come over to this beehive, and I recommend you get this now. It's gonna make come back here not so much a pain in the butt. The problem with the bee is you can't actually go down, which is a it doesn't sound bad, but it really, really is. First thing we're gonna do in here is go bzz, hello fat little bee. We Zebas are guarding Grunty's gold honey piece. Toad, there's a honey bear out there. Hmm, I've never heard of him, but I'm just gonna rescue this Jinjo, and if I ever see that honey bear, I'll make sure I'll let you guys know. Yes, this is where, oh gosh, <laughs> the control of the bee is so hard. Ah! It's not really that bad though. I just gotta get the hang of it. Okay, yep, there we go, second Jinjo. So you should come out of here with 20 notes, two Jinjos, and two Jiggies. Just keep that in mind, and you'll be solid. So now that we're the bee, though, uh, let's just get out of here. And there's just one last thing to do before spring is finished. I'm gonna move on to my personal favorite. Actually, is summer my favorite season? I actually don't know. It, I guess it kind of is, but I'm more of a fall guy, I guess. I like the cold, just because I live in such a hot state. Okay. So now we're on the lookout for a man-eating flytrap thing, or... A Venus flytrap? Yeah, I think that's what they're called. Oh, there he is. All we have to do to get this is he won't actually eat the bee. He's not interested in the bee. He's only interested in the bear. So just simply jump in him, and there you go. That is the second Jiggy of the level. So if you have the Summer Switch, you got the two Jinjos, you got the two Jiggies. You were all done. And I want to thank you all so much for watching this episode. This has been spring. We got the Cheeto codes put in. We got our final transformation. We got, uh, some more codes. We did a lot in this episode, that's what I'm trying to say. And in the next episode, we're gonna start summer. So see you guys then. Bye.